Hello, and welcome to MailStore Tech Tips. My name is Dee, and today I'd like to show you how to synchronize user accounts with Microsoft 365. Please note that this video takes you through the initial configuration of MailStore Server and how to connect to Microsoft 365. If you're already using MailStore Server with an on-premise Exchange server and are planning on migrating your email system to Microsoft 365, then take a look at our other tech tip. In order to synchronize user information from Microsoft 365, you'll first need to connect MailStore Server to your Microsoft 365 tenant. Here, it is important to grant the necessary permissions. Note, Microsoft 365 uses Azure Active Directory as its directory service. Sign in to the Azure portal as a global administrator for your Microsoft 365 tenant. Then create a new app registration in the Azure Active Directory section. Enter an appropriate display name in the name field. Example would be Mail Store Server. This name will be visible to users later on, for example, when logging in. The application ID shown here identifies Mail Store Server in your Azure ID tenant and must now be entered into Mail Store Server along with its directory ID. Therefore, to make things easy, leave the Apps Overview page open in your browser when executing the following steps. Login credentials for Microsoft 365 consist of the aforementioned IDs and what is known as a secret used by MailStore Server to prove its identity to Azure AD. Here, Microsoft recommends using certificates which are generated automatically by MailStore Server when creating your credentials. Under Directory Services, Click on the integration section and select the directory service type Microsoft 365 Modern Authentication. In the Azure AD Credentials dialog, enter the following information in the settings section. A meaningful display name for the credentials, such as the name of your Microsoft 365 tenant. Both the application and directory IDs which you can copy from the Azure AD App Overview page in your browser. The newly created credentials are listed in the Credentials Manager under the name you previously entered. So that Azure AD can validate the identity of MailStore Server, the created certificate needs to be published in Azure AD. Now upload your certificate to the Certificates and Secrets section. If successful, the uploaded certificate's thumbprint as well as its start and expiry dates will appear in the certificates list. In order for Azure AD to return the results of a user authentication request to MailStore Server, it needs to be told the so-called redirect URI, which the endpoint at which MailStore Server is expecting the authentication response to arrive. Add a web application as a platform in the authentication section. In the redirect URI field, enter a URI in the following format. The fully qualified domain name of your MailStore server consists of the name of your machine and the DNS name. For example, mailstore.example.com. The name must be resolvable by all clients from which users are to log in the MailStore server. The TCP port of MailStore Web Access is 8462 by default. This is the endpoint at which MailStore Server is expecting the authentication responses from Azure AD to arrive. This path must be specified exactly as stated at the end of the redirect URI. Please note that the redirect URI is case sensitive so that MailStore Server can notify requesting clients of the redirect URI. This has to be configured in MailStore Server 2. Finally, MailStore Server must be granted the required permissions in order to synchronize users with Azure AD and to be able to archive emails. In the API Permissions section, select the API Microsoft Graph. Enable the Directory, Directory Read All permission in the Select Permissions section. The permissions are updated and the directory read all permissions appear in the API permissions list under Microsoft Graph. Now, add the permission to API Exchange. The permissions are updated and the full access as app permissions appear in the API permissions list under Exchange. Now, grant the administrator approval. 
you've now finished setting up a connection between MailStore Server and Microsoft 365 and Azure AD. You can now define the filter criteria by which MailStore will synchronize the user list with Microsoft 365. Select one or several Microsoft 365 groups if you want to create only their members as MailStore Server users. That way, it is possible to exclude certain users from being synchronized to MailStore Server. By clicking on Test Settings, you can check your synchronization settings and verify the results returned by the Microsoft 365 tenant without modifying the MailStore Server user database. To run the synchronization, simply click on Synchronize. The results, including all changes to the MailStore Server user database, should then be displayed. This brings our tech tip to an end. The aforementioned steps can also be found in our online help. Watch our next tech tip to find out how to create the archiving profiles needed to archive your emails from Microsoft 365. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.